Binance announced in February 2022 that Binance Chain and Binance Smart Chain would be rebranded as BNB Chain, which stands for Build and Build. In order to strengthen and further decentralize the protocol, the Layer 1 chain for Binance was relaunched as part of a strategy to connect it to the BNB Governance token. Binance has so far committed more than $1 billion to fostering the expansion of the BNB chain ecosystem. In the most recent development, OPBNB, its very own Layer 2 scaling solution built on Optimism's OP stack, was released. So let's first explain what is BNB Smart Chain. BSC, an EVM-compliant Layer 1 network, was developed when Ethereum's scalability issues were at their worst. The Ethereum network was still on the proof-of-work consensus algorithm. When BSC network was using the proof-of-stake, that way, it created a more adaptable network by using a more energy-efficient consensus layer that will work with the adopted execution layer. BSC is significantly faster than the Ethereum blockchain, thanks to a different consensus system and a few other changes. It supports applications built on the Ethereum network by running a EVM-type virtual machine and using the same smart contract language. Okay. But what is OPBNB? OPBNB is based on the Optimism OP stack, an open source code base that has been modified to suit BSC's requirements. OPBNB uses the optimistic roll-up architecture, abstracting the execution layer into a separate layer, with the layer one being BNB smart chain. This separate layer speeds up transactions and lowers gas costs. By processing transactions off-chain, and posting transaction data back onto the L1 as call data. Now we can go even further. So how exactly does OPBNB work? In a typical block production process, a traditional OP stack chain executes the transactions twice. This is how block mining works. Each block's execution can take hundreds of milliseconds because this is redundant. Instead of re-executing the transactions, OPBNB optimizes this by storing the results of the initial execution in the cache, reducing additional execution time during block production. Asynchronous Batch Submission, which enables the batcher to submit batches of transactions without waiting for confirmation, is the final way that OPBNB boosts its efficiency. This eliminates the bottleneck that results from submitting the following batch of transactions before waiting for confirmation. In conclusion, the new OPBNB chain gives the BNB chain ecosystem the ability to process more transactions per second than it previously could, while preserving the EVM compatibility that was essential to its initial success. Additionally, it will seamlessly integrate with the current BSC, allowing for the native use of ecosystem assets on Layer 2. Furthermore, by utilizing the OP stack as a foundation, Changes made to the code base will directly advance and benefit the development of OPBNB and vice versa. So, that's the end of the video around everything about OPBNB. Now, if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.